Hi folks, welcome back. We're now going to speak to the winner in the grade 12 category. Um, this lesson was superb. i tell you something, Patrick, it was absolutely brilliant. Your lesson was well presented. It had so many assessment standards that were being addressed. It really was, was absolutely wonderful. You can just give us a little bit of an overview of the lesson and, and how you approached it and, and just general comments if you can okay. tell us about it. All right. I decided to use a, a clinometer uh, because I saw it that is in one of that is the, the module that I'm doing with yes. the with the what's this it's Vets University. Okay. Then I decided to, to take that one so that I can make that is a trigonometry to be more interesting to my kids. Yeah. Because now what is more important with our kids is to is to bring the real situation yes. into into the classroom. Yeah. Then I explained to them. In fact, uh, what I did, I gave them that is an, an assignment to go and construct their own, that is a clinometer. Mm -hmm. Now, the clinometer is an instrument which looks like this. This is what you call a clinometer. Then what, what we have done, we have used that is the, a pipe. It's either used that is the plumb of a, of, a, of a ball pen. Then you use also that is the protector. Then here we are supposed to have a string. Then we are also are supposed to have what you call the, the, the what's this? It's there, it's the, it's the weight. A clinometer is an instrument, it's a handheld uh, instrument that is used to measure distance, that is the height of any building. You can use yes. that one using it, that. It almost, it kind of worked like this, guys. It sort of, if, if I'm not mistaken, it, it almost did this kind of effect. Yes, it, yes. it had, it, I, we don't have one, but it actually had this beautiful effect, and the kids could actually measure angles, so you could measure angles of elevation. Yeah, in relation to, 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 the, to the horizontal. To the horizontal, yeah. very, very good. Yeah. We said we are going to have what you call the, the plumb here. This is the plumb. Then this is the protractor. Then this is the string. Then the string is supposed to have what you call the, the weight. Then now we are supposed to have what you call that is the, a line which we form that is 90 degrees. Now let's take for an example. You use the very same instrument that is. This is the instrument. Then now, let's take for an example now. When you take that is a reading from your clinometer, let's say it is 40, 45 degrees. Ne? Then now, which angle is 45 degrees between, because we've got one, two, three angles? It's, it's the one in the top. It's A, B, C. If you say it's the one at top, it's which one? Are you talking about C? Yes. Is it? No. Okay, let's hear from... Victor. Angle A. It is supposed to be angle A. It is 45. Which simply means that a distance from here to here it is going to be 45 degrees. Our school is a three story building. Then uh, I decided to, to use the clinometer to measure that is the, the distance or that is the height of the, of the building. Yes. Because now we had a problem that is when I, I introduced my lesson, I said, how can we? That is measure that is the, the the height of the of the school building. Then they said we can use that is a rope and throw it down. Then okay. take a measuring tape. Then sure. then I said, but there is an easy method that we can use. Then I said, the one that I, I gave you that is as an assignment. Then they took it out. Then I brought my mine that was sort of uh, more accurate than theirs. Yeah. Then we went outside. The Do that for us. Make sure that it is at the tip of the of the building. Okay. Is it? Yes. It's, it's then anyone to verify that? <laughs> yes. It is. All right. Now that we know that is. This one is facing that is directly to the tip of this building. What we are supposed to do now, we are supposed to take that is the, the, the measurement now. That is the, the angle. Then can any one of you then come and tell us that is the angle? Could you? What is the angle? It's 49. Then if this angle is 49, that is angle B, it's 49. It's 49 degrees, isn't it? Yes. Then if it's 49, what is the complement of 49? The complement will be 41. The complement will be 41, 41, which simply means that angle A, according to that drone, is going to be 41 degrees, isn't it? Okay, we are going to have 41 as our complement. 
Then now, what is it that we are left off with? If you look at that one, we are supposed to find that is the the distance yes. that is from from the wall right up until yeah. where to the stern. Yes. Yes. Is it to the stern? No. 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 Then now, one other thing that we are we are running in short of. Okay, Johannes. We have to look for the angle of depression, like down. We have to stand there and look down because now we look at the angle of elevation. Okay. Now we have to look at the angle of depression. Then now, the next thing that we are supposed to do is to take that is this one. Yeah, Okay, can anyone of you come and take that particular reading for us? Mamsi? It goes until where? Back. Okay, let's put something. The next thing, now that we've got, that is this mark, which simply means that we've got a line that is running from that mark to the tip, isn't it? Yes. Then now what we are left off with, because we do have that is the, the angle of elevation. We are left with only take to take the measurement from that point, from the wall, right up until to this mark. Okay, that means the distance from from the wall right up until to the to that mark. It's what it's it's thirteen comma six seven. Then now what can we do in order for us because now we've got you, then you can record that one. It is one comma six seven meters, isn't it? Then what do we have? We've got our angle. We said our angle is going to be what is our angle? It's 41. Is it 49 or 41? It's 41. Then we also have what? That is the, the measurement. That is from the wall to, the, to, the, to that point. Okay, then which function can we use here? Because we've got area rule, sine rule, and also cosine rule. We also have got another one. That is the, uh, the sine, the cos, the tan. Which one can we use here? So I think we are going to use a, a tan. We are going to use a tangent. If you look at this drawing, what is it that we have here? We have this side, of which it's it's thirteen. It's thirteen comma six seven. Eh? All right. Now that we've got this one, we also have got that is this angle. What is it that we want to calculate? We want to calculate that is the the height of the building. Then, in order for us to get that is this edge. Then now the function, the trick function that we're going to use it is going to be tan, because tan is what? It's toha. It is going to be opposite of adjacent. Then we can find that is this one. Uh, this lesson is interesting because you can do things practical. You don't, you don't have to only rely on a textbook, but you can do it by yourself. Yes, uh, it, it was really impressive. I think it was helpful and it helps out a lot because in, in the classroom we don't get to do practicals now. This has really helped us. It's from today. I know that there's something that I can use to measure the heights. It's from today. Maybe if I don't understand, I don't know the, 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 the heights, I'll just make the, this instrument and measure it. It's, it's just a, a good lesson for me because I, I know how to measure the, the, the highest tools for now. I just wanted to say it's a good thing because we know how to measure something that is above us and then we can use a thermometer. That's all I can say. Okay. Thank you.